What is up YouTube? Post high carb day day today, put on a few pounds overnight. I was 241 pounds this morning. So back to low carbs, no fun with that, but it is what it is, living the dream. Today, we're not doing much today. I believe it's back day, so hopefully some of the food I had from yesterday can be pushed into this workout today. Right now, we're just chilling. Everyone's working on their laptops. We got just crew of stuff coming out right now. Courtney's <laughs> been working on her novel of a caption for a couple of hours now. It takes a lot for a woman, okay? You have to put plenty into this kind of shit. Chris just supposed to be with like two words and gets like, 100,000 likes with this shirt. I have off. creative right. captions. Awesome. My captions are funny Whatever. and creative, but okay. yeah, they're, okay. they're not that good. I know. I'm kidding. But right now, we're gonna head to the Apple Store because Calvin wants to buy a mouse to edit because he's a rookie and still has a trackpad. Rookie mistake. So, see you at the Apple Store. Hmm? Gift Calvin's birthday. Hey, I mean. Better mouth, better edits, better YouTube, better vlogs, better content for you guys. Boyfriend. Hey guys. Hey boyfriend. Wait. Okay, I gotta let Patty out. Come on, let's go. You gotta go, Patty. Patty's gotta go. Patty. Let's go, Patty. You want? Gotta build an aesthetic classic physique. You have to cook in an aesthetic formation. So we wrap the pan around with a little bit of zucchini and then you dump your green beans in the middle and you fry it all up and you wait. My hydration drink. Orange mango, it tastes so bomb. I'm really not a huge fan of mango, but the orange actually tastes super good. It's just pretty much electrolytes, phosphorus, magnesium, sodium, potassium, coconut water, and stevia leaf extract. Pretty cool, they actually have stevia for sweetening some of these things. So it's like super clean, a lot better than any other shitty sweeteners. And it tastes bomb, so we're trying to stay hydrated. We're trying to stay lit, it's a hot day out there, even though I'm wearing a hoodie in the middle of summer, but it is what it is. Meal numero dos today. No carbs in the meal, it's always a sad time. Don't even have spinach or asparagus. So we got about 50 grams of green beans, like 20 grams of zucchini. Zucchini is bomb, delicious. Love frying it up in my meals now. And 150 grams of chicken breast. I seasoned it with a little bit of Miss Dash. So there's no sodium in Miss Dash. It's potassium in it instead. I try and keep my sodium low because water tension issues and whatnot. Normally would recommend salting every meal, but I'm kind of a different circumstance. Also, living off this stuff lately. Good old honey mustard from Whole Foods. Very delicious. So we're gonna eat this, wash on my show, and then I think we're going to get groceries after because I need some more vegetables. Everyone's favorite part. Mmm, delicious. It's okay. It's okay.
Eh? Was it that? Was that? Yeah. Did you get me on camera <laughs> now? Okay. It was short lived. It was a little too bright. Normally I go in the bedroom, but we're doing the laundry, the sheets, so it is what it is. Got a bit of a headache right now. So we're gonna shoot this up into my traps. <laughs> Ready? Okay, here we go. Don't start with it on it, right? Don't start with it on it? Yeah. Taking the family to Whole Foods now. <laughs> yeah. Actually, just Super. taking her to Whole Foods. What? Just I taking just, her to Whole Foods. Yeah. Just her? Yeah. We're gonna have a date. He just doesn't know. Bougie, yet. Courtney, you can only go to Whole Foods. No, I'm not bougie. Don't tell them that. They're gonna fucking eat. Very boring trip though, because we only buy vegetables, but. You know. <laughs> Trifecta is godsend on my prep. I haven't had to cook food in forever, so huge shout out to Trifecta. We're literally going to pick up like spinach, asparagus, and honey mustard. Yeah. It's a cold for coffee, so. <laughs> <laughs> We're just talking about how I copy Chris. He put on a Nike hat, so I put on a Nike hat. Put on a mint shirt. So I tried to put on a mint shirt. Play pink accent underneath, and then. Red shoes, red toes. Wow, you guys are pretty much like. <laughs> meant to be. <laughs> so, low calorie, boring thing we're getting. Courtney's been mucking on baby carrots. They're super good. They're actually really healthy for you. And low calorie. I don't get any though. And celery. Add this into my salads. Gotta get the super crispy green celery. You don't get no soft celery. Very important. Also, throwing salads is cucumbers. Personally, I like the baby ones because these ones right here actually. Didn't even know they were right there. So they're just kind of easier to cut. You put half one in an entire salad and taste bomb. The number one prep vegetable we all love to talk about. Good old asparagus. Natural diuretic and great for making your tea smell delicious. Yeah. Spinache. Spinache. Word of the day. Spinache. I swear to God, so I've heard someone else say that, honestly. But we get two spinaches, it could be a lot of spinache. I try to have one meal a day where it's raw, one where most rest of them I kind of fry it up. Mushrooms and rice and mushrooms and eggs are bomb. Fry them up a bit, add in your ice, add in your eggs. Grabbing some sweet potatoes. I kind of vary between white and sweet. Both are high in potassium. Sweet potatoes have a little bit more nutrients in them, so they do look huge. I don't eat a lot though, so it's kind of sad. It tastes way better when you bake them. So on high carb days, I like to bake them. And on other days, sometimes I boil them and it just makes it feel like you're eating more because they're filled with water. But always weigh it raw. I don't need any meat, but sometimes what I like to do, you guys already know this, but scallops are the most delicious alternative for white fish. But they're very expensive, so we're gonna walk away today. Grabbing cooking spray. Very important on prep. You run out, you're screwed. Um, Pam, not so good. Canola oil in it. There's even butane in it, which is like what they put in like propane for your gas tank and stuff, with some random stuff. So we try and get coconut oil based ones and you gotta actually check the ingredients. So there's a Pam coconut oil, and it actually the first ingredient is canola oil, and then it has coconut oil added to it. So sneaky bastards. And our delicious Whole Foods honey mustard. Any more eggs already? I'm gonna give it because I use. 
Tony refuses to drink egg whites out of a carton. These people are really good. Apparently they don't <laughs> taste good, so she they cracks don't. every single egg and takes the egg it's whites. It's true, I do. This is my favorite salad dressing. I actually weigh it out because it's 15. People go overload on salad dressing. It's only 15 calories for 30 milliliters, so I just put that on my scale, make sure I get 30, and it's about 15 calories in your salad. Cold brew is my jam. Partly because I'm too lazy to brew a coffee, and partly because it kind of just tastes better. I always get the pure black, non-sweetened one. And I usually only have like half a cup of this, maybe a cup, before cardio in the morning, just to get a little bit in me, and I only just started doing that now because I've just been so dead in the morning, so. Very cold brew, almond milk, potatoes, fish, eggs, bananas, blueberries. Good blueberries. We're Gucci. Good to go. Now we have to walk past all the fun stuff. All done? That's a wrap. Here at Whole Foods, got a couple bags full of vegetables and we're gonna go home now. We're gonna make some pre-workout. We gotta get lit. So it's later in the day that I want to train, but we're gonna pre-workout meal and go train. Here at good old New Body Dimensions, me, Matt, Calvin. Are you training back with us? Me, Matt, Calvin, we're hitting back today. Big boy back thickness kind of day. No idea what we're gonna do. I always start all my workouts. You're gonna see. I start with the same kind of general thing. Starting with a uh, pull down here, neutral grip. I love the bar. You also know a great bar with a neutral grip. So when I see it, take advantage. I'm gonna warm up with this and move on to a heavy row. Huge advocate of doing free weights, especially 
back day, I think it's just such a big muscle on your back. Stabilizers are super important to do free weights. But as you guys know, I fucked my hamstring, still injured. And on back day, whether or not you're shaking it, your form is perfect or not, you're putting quite a bit of tension on your hamstring to bend over and row. No matter how strict your form is, it's just risky and it's not worth hurting myself right now. So sticking to the heavy row movement, decided to do machine here. And you can see my legs are a little bent and I just try and relax them. So I'm getting absolutely no pull from my hamstring. Just focus on elongating the back, pull from the scapula, drive the elbows back and just full back isolation. Looking back in the mirror. Lower back pumps suck. Yeah. Lower back pumps are Probably the worst pump, for sure. 
One of the things, no matter how little carb I'm doing, if I hammer out some hyperextensions like this, normally I like to do rack pulls on days where I'm trying to pull my, get like a dense lower back movement. But again, hamstring is torn, so resulting to this, take your hamstrings out a little bit. You wanna make sure you're literally just pulling completely from your erectors and your lower back. Get no glute, no hamstring. Squeeze your lower back at the top and get that filthy pump. That's a wrap for me on this leg day. It is late, holy shit, it's back day. Whew, it's late, and I'm hungry. We were a little bit delayed on getting to the gym today. I'm a meal behind. It's like, seven, it's like 7 p.m., it's like 8 p.m. 8.30 right now, and I've only had three meals, so. That would be a wrap. Decent back workout. It's got a lower back pump. Well, we got a pump somewhere, so. We're gonna go home, fuel up, hit the hay. You know, we train early tomorrow morning and because I have a Gymshark shoot at 1 p.m. So I'm gonna come back here for that and have some fun. Good morning, YouTube. <laughs> I just had a really early workout. Is it noon right now? Yeah. Jesus. Okay, not that early, but for me, it's early. We're shooting with Gymshark today, so I went to the gym alone and just kind of head down, powered through a chest workout. It is hard to wake up after one meal and just pump it out in the gym, but went to a gym with sick machines, plate loaded, so I warmed up on that, moved on to some free weights. Good workout. Came home to a lovely surprise. Good old trifecta. So we showed you my grocery shopping vegetables yesterday, and this is why I don't need to go to the grocery store for meat. We got a lot of, we have a little bit of turkey, because I don't eat a lot of that anymore. And then we have a lot of cod, lots of white fish. I got one thing of shrimp for a little bit of a delicacy, you know? And what else we got? We got salmon every night. I have a salmon meal, last meal of the day. Bunch of chicken breast, and sadly, steak was cut out of my diet, so Calvin and Matt, they get to munch on some free trifecta steak too. But as always, link will be in the bio of the video if you guys wanna check it out. Obviously, I've always said it's not really reasonable to get every single meal you eat in the day through a meal prep service, but even one a day, a couple throughout the week will help you so much more than you understand just to have food ready when you're in a rush, rushing out the door. Because as a bodybuilder, the number one most important thing is food, always, no matter what. No ifs, ands, or buts. We all like to train, it's all fun to train, but eating is the hard part. So, got my food, gonna throw this in the fridge. Eat quickly and we're gonna head to the gym for the gym shark shoot. I have some boiled sweet potato, 120 grams, 125 gram boiled sweet potato, 150 grams of turkey patty, a little spinach, a little green beans, a lot of deliciousness. I've been boiling instead of baking my sweet potato sometimes, it creates more volume. Very delicious and nutritious. So, you can eat this, and we gotta rush out, get to the gym. I think the boys are gonna train, I gotta shoot, and it's gonna be a grand old time. Getting lonely, boys. 
Thumbnail. Prep is long and hard. It's we're late. We should probably go. <laughs> yeah, apparently I'm not pretty enough. So Gymshark said I gotta wear makeup. Yeah. A little eyeliner, mascara, you know, make my eyes pop a little bit. You wouldn't want to just look like you're sweating when you're working out. You exactly. <laughs> The glory of photo shoots a little bit less than you see on just the pictures. A lot of waiting around, setting up lights, but it is what it is. Why well, I worked out earlier, because I would have been dead after this. But we're getting it done. They've been setting up for a while. Just chilling. I get to sit here and wait, play with my thumbs. I don't even get to snack. Normally, off season, I'm snacking hard while I wait for them to set up the off season, just eating, munching on stuff. But right now, I just get to wait, sip on water, and chill. So, doing that, but this shoot is supposed to be top secret, so we're not even allowed to say what it's about. We're not allowed to show you any of the shots or anything, so it is what it is. You guys will see in a two months or so, I guess, uh, what's, what this is all about. So, until then, you gotta wait, stay tuned. I have no idea how to use this thing. I've never been on live anything, so hopefully some people actually show up and you guys got some questions you wanna ask. Whatever you guys want to know, I'm here chilling. We got a camera behind the scenes right here. Calvin's just vlogging. Got the Courtney King cooking herself up a nice little meal. Hey! It's supposed to be a Q&A guys, so feel free to ask any questions. What will your stage weight be? Optimally 229 pounds, but probably around 226 or 229. And yeah, but. Appreciate everybody who tuned in, everyone who came in and asked a question. If I missed your question, I'm sorry, they're a little delayed in going through it. But other than that, hope you all have a great night and I'm headed out. Done. What a long day this was. Put that one camera on, I got another camera in my face already. Just no time to chill apparently. Woke up early to get to the gym, come back, prep my meals, get to a photo shoot, which took four hours to take 10 pictures. And then I came home and had to do this IG live for Jack Factory. So I'm about ready for a nap, about ready for a meal. Everybody seems to want to know who she was referencing. This is the way you're handling things. Final meal of the day, and she's a doozy, to say the least. I love salmon right now. Whenever I get this low calorie, whatever, bath just tastes so much better. Literally lick egg yolk, slurp up the salmon juice. Very delicious. But I just finished up 45 minutes of cardio because my day was so messed up, and I had to train early in the morning, so I had energy to train. Because I had the photo shoot all day, came back, had to get my cardio in, so I just did that late at night and it is way shittier and way harder to do at night than it is first thing in the morning. So we're gonna try and avoid that as much as possible. And final meal is a bunch of spinach. I got like 70 grams of spinach. I cut up some mini cukes, little cucumbers. Cut up some celery in there for a little bit of an extra crunch. And then I got this homemade salad dressing here. Guess who taught me how to make this? Courtney. <laughs> but literally all it is is some of the soy free uh, coconut amitos, which you know I'm obsessed with, and some honey mustard, which you also know I love, and a little bit of water to create a little bit more volume uh, without calories. So put this all in the bowl. Drop the spoon in the bowl. It's late, guys. And I just sprinkle this all over. You gotta mix it up in there, though, you know? Then just gets dry AF, so you gotta put something on it. This is low calorie dressing, so we're Gucci. Cover that up. And then I have 170 grams of fresh Atlantic salmon from your boys at Trifecta. Trifecta, Trifecta. Dump that on there. Make sure you get all the grease in there with it. 
and there you have it. Bon appetit, final meal of the day. I'm ready for bed. It's only 10.50 and I'm ready for bed. But we got a big day tomorrow. We got some fun planned for the afternoon, let me tell you guys. And I'm getting a haircut in the morning at like 10 a.m. So uh, as you can tell, I definitely need a haircut. So we're going to get it trimmed and then do something fun. So we'll see you tomorrow.